Texas school leaders are now uh, ending the year trying to figure out what school will look like when it returns in the fall. Six News anchor Bailey Bates joins me live from the Six News new newsroom with how local school leaders are feeling in response to the Uvalde shooting. Bailey. Leslie, we've heard from multiple school districts who added extra patrols today in direct response to what happened in Uvalde. Some of them plan to continue that through the rest of the week, too. They say it was as a precaution and to also ease the minds of parents. The superintendent of Marlin ISD, Dr. Daryl Henson, says that's not the long term solution, but he honestly wants people to know that he doesn't know what the solution is. He says it's layers thick and will take work from all levels, federal, state and local. During my interview with him, he described how he is feeling flabbergasted and saddened for the Uvalde community, but he's frustrated with what education has come to nowadays. Now we have to teach our children how to barricade themselves, how to get below a desk, how to just frankly live in fear. So the education system, not only are we not only do we have to teach our children mathematics, reading, science and social studies, we are now in a day we have to teach you how to survive and how to stay alive in a school building. Dr. Henson adds that it's time for actions to follow people's words, and he plans on working with local, state, and federal officials to make sure education will still be provided for students without the fear of living. Tonight at 10, we will run through the response from other Central Texas school districts and what they want to make sure their students and staff stay safe and alive. Leslie. All right, thanks, Bailey.